How do I fall in love and find the perfect spouse? Well, this is the, this is the recipe. First, it's commandments. First, love God above all else. It makes it possible for you to love your neighbor as yourself. If you want a lasting marriage and a mate for life, uh, you know, unto eternity, the means for that is first to understand what love really is. And God needs to rebuild your heart. So pray that he wound your soul with love for him so that your heart can be changed. This is somebody that makes a worthy spouse. You want somebody that loves God above all else and you want to be like that too. Then maybe, you know, a marriage can work. This is the foundation. Love God. This is commandment. These are the commandments. Love God above all else. This makes it possible to do the other commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. You can't do it if you don't love him first. So how are you going to find the one for you? God's a fantastic matchmaker, but if you don't love him first, how are you going to get the help that you need? He knows you can't love anybody right. So, love him if you want to, if you want to love anybody else. He'll rebuild your heart the way it's supposed to be. He'll take your tiny, grinchy heart and do it the right way. It won't be Dr. Seuss nonsense. It'll be his will be done. So, there you go, there's the catch. If you ever want to really be loved, you have to love him first above all else. And he will help you. Whether you're to be married or not, you'll be okay. You love him, he loves you. You're establishing trust. You'll trust him. Love God above all else. Makes it possible for you to love your neighbor as yourself. And everybody agrees it's tough to love your neighbor as yourself. Establish the bond with God. This is what you want. This is the source of love. Go to the source of love. Go to wisdom for wisdom. This is how it works. Call dad, planet daddy issue. Call your father. Tell him you love him. And, and, and start to learn why it is you love him so much. And you'll find out, wow, this guy loves me so much that he came here and we killed him and we spat on him and we beat him we put him up on the cross. And he still saved us. And that's why we go to church on Sunday to celebrate victory. And you can too. So establish that bond with him. If you ever want to know anything about love, it starts there. The end is the beginning. And Jesus is the end. So if you want to know anything about love, love him.